Hello and welcome back to my Pokemon Horizons review series. Today we are reviewing episode 60 and I hope you enjoy. So this week the trio are heading for Montanavera which is located in the snowy part of Paldea. So it's time for a change in outfits and time to wrap up warm. This reminded me of the section in Diamond and Pearl where Ash and the gang received new winter clothes for Snowpoint C. Also it was hilarious how Roy's idea of a new outfit was literally just new gloves. That's probably something I would do. We learned that Roy has never actually seen snow, so this was a whole new adventure for him. It was wholesome just seeing how much he was looking forward to playing around in the snow for the first time. This episode was a bit of a filler type episode, but the thing I love about Horizons filler episodes are that we still seem to learn more about the characters and grow them in smaller ways and closer the bonds with their Pokemon. Whereas the classic era, these type of episodes would focus on chasing down a team rocket for 15 minutes. It felt nice to spend time in this snowy area, meeting Pokemon like Frigabax and Bergmite, learning about their rivalry, stuff that just doesn't usually get shown. But the main focus in this one are Roy and Fukoko, following their adventure of Roy's first day in the snow. It was a pretty slow episode but still it had some nice moments to it, the main conflict being this bear tick that they had some beef with earlier on in the day. So when Roy and Fukoko are out looking for firewood, they gotta be careful not to bump into it. It was nice to see more of Killer Watchall again as well, with Roy finally making use of its flight to search for firewood and then later on search for Fukoko when it got lost. There was a really nice scene where Fukoko and Roy get split up and usually Fukoko's shenanigans don't come to much. But this time it fully gets lost and they start to feel the weight of that. The music sets the tone really well and you can see that Roy is not used to being apart from Fukoko. And the same goes for Fukoko, it lingers on this scene for a while to make that reunion a bit more heartfelt. But there wasn't really any conflict to this episode so it did feel very slow and it probably could have done with another plotline added in. But with that said I do enjoy exploring Roy and Fukoko's relationship more as we haven't had nearly enough as Liko and Florigato. So it was a well needed setup episode for what I'm sure will be an evolution soon. They head back to the cabin and one thing I appreciated in this episode was the use of Roy's photos. He seems to take photos of all the groups he finds himself in and we look back on ones with Mighty G and Palafin with Brassius and Nimona but this time he falls asleep and we see a shot of him with all of the ice Pokemon these Pokemon that were all fighting earlier on in the episode now have come together for a photo and it was just a really small wholesome moment that I really liked. But that was really it for this one, Roy heads off the next day ready to face his terrestrial battle with Rhyme. It really was just a snow day adventure for Roy, no major stakes, no major storyline really, just a challenge in separation for Roy and Fukoko both to overcome. I am also like the small moments in this episode. But I don't really have any complaints, it could have done with an extra plot beat, but sometimes we just need these kind of episodes to let the big one shine. So it was just an okay episode for me, and I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Let me know your thoughts, what is your rating out of 10, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.